Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Butter What Show. I'm Pat Regan. This is BrianCMoses.com, and we, you know, we have important things to talk to you on our about on our live stream here. But I was looking at that lit up NAS case sitting behind Brian, and I just had to ask him about it. So I figure he might be willing to spend a few minutes explaining that 3D printed case to us back there. Yeah, over over the weekend. I guess for fun on New Year's Day, I took I took the the door off of my my M, it's an MK seven thirty five. It's all three D printed. The uh, the hinge design is ingenious. It it snaps into the actual door itself. So there's a special little tool to remove that to remove that hinge. And I I printed four of those, and I removed I removed the door. And I hooked up uh, a Wi-Fi LED controller and uh, an RGB, I guess they're 50-50 strip of LEDs and lined lined the entire door frame with that and have it plumbed into my home automation and everything now. I did it intentionally for these live streams. I wanted something I wanted something lit up behind me, like the butter what logo and bender i i mean i didn't light up bender today. yeah I did a bad that's job. okay i wanted something lit up and uh you know the the design of the door the front of it is a mesh to let more air through and i thought it would be i thought it would be really cool to to light it up so what kind of case is this mr the, brian it's the mk735 it was designed by 3dweeby.com it's all 3D printed. It holds seven three and a half inch drives and two two and a half inch drives, and then it's got a it's a mini ITX case. And I have a a super micro. I don't know the X11 SDV4 TNLF. That might be right. Don't don't quote me on that. Maybe Pat some kind of it. little baby Xeon or something. It's a Xeon D2123 IT. It's a four core, or it's a yeah, four core, eight thread. I guess supposedly low power for a, a Xeon. And, and you migrated everything over from your old yeah, NAS to this three D printed case. And yeah, I've I've migrated, I've migrated the entirety of my old NAS, and then some of what my home lab server was doing so far, and that'll be. That'll what are you be running a, on there, Tubby? A blog topic. Right now, I've got. Next cloud running on there. I've got Plex running on there. I've got Tailscale running on the host. What is the host? The host is TrueNAS Scale. TrueNAS, I mean, we know TrueNAS from their roots in FreeNAS, but that product is now called TrueNAS Core, which runs on FreeBSD, and TrueNAS Scale runs on Linux, I believe Debian. The, uh, it looks nice. It's it's very tiny in your background, of course. Yeah, but that's fine. But I love the MK seven thirty five case. It's it's I I don't know a better way to say that. I think it's the pinnacle of three D printing. I had this, it really is. It goes together so nice. It's it's a huge print job though. Huge. So long. So long. We've talked about it before on on the live stream, but yeah, like I think it was two to three weeks of basically nonstop printing. Yep. And that and that was with a couple failures. Failure. I mean, a couple failures of prints that took, you know, one to two days straight of nonstop printing. Yep. And I know it's not the the densest case. That that uh, UNES eight hundred case you used to have was pretty. I, yep. I can't imagine being much more dense than that UNES case. Yeah, that but was. But this compact. isn't that undense. This is a little bit bigger with the same amount of stuff in it. But this looks way easier to work with. It is. It was way easier to work with um, to get put together, but it was a lot more work to assemble the case. You know, you you buy a case and it's already assembled. With this, you know, you you printed all the parts and you got them all together and you press fit some and you you had to screw some together. So, you know, it's kind of six of one, half dozen of another. But at the point you're at right now, this looks like it would be easier to service most things. Yeah. Than the because I remember watching you put the parts. Not put the UNAS case together, but I remember you watching 
put the motherboard in the tray, put the hard drives in here, put the SSDs. In the yep. And I remember you getting to a point where a cable couldn't reach and you had to take all kinds of things out and put it back in. And yep. I mean, once you get the puzzle together, it's great, but this looks easier yeah. for that. Yeah, like with the UNAS case, one of the things that I was considering this year was just buying RAM and sticking it in that case. And that would have involved basically disassembling the entire thing and reassembling it. And if I was going to go to that much work, I had the MK735. I was just going to move into that. But but now if I decided to double the RAM, you know, I probably wouldn't have to do anything other than pop the top and yep. snap the new DIMMs in. Fantastic, Tubby. And I like that it's blue, and I enjoy that uh, custom sound panel. The, the custom sound panel is awesome, too. I think that was all right, Tubby. I think so, too. And I'll sneak some pictures into that episode. I like plugging Toby's beautiful case. It's it, such a nice case. It really is. 